Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Out of Gas Quick Look stream with me, Fist Cake, featuring Trevor the Developer. That's your new Hello. rap name, just so you know. And my friend Matt from Neanderthal Gaming TV. Yes, hello. That's also your new rap name, too. You're both a rap duo. Congratulations. <laughs> What's it feel like to be part of the new rap dynasty here? You know, I think we should just go and diss Eminem right away. <laughs> that's I usually think that'll be good for our career. I think that's usually, yeah, like a career starter, uh, according to mm -hmm. most people, is if you just go straight into dissing them. You just go for the top, dude. <laughs> straight <laughs> from the bottom. If you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Something. That is surprisingly optimistic of you. I don't. This is confusing. Now, now I'm completely thrown off. I don't know what to <laughs> what to do with myself here. Trevor, can you say something real quick? I just want to see if your voice level is. I'm just thinking about my jewelry options. Like, we're, I can't get past that right now. Yeah, I mean, you have to really get. I mean, how many the, chains? Well, you can't do two chains. There's already a guy for that. Um, you can probably do like three at least. Probably between three and five. Maybe I'm thinking like a big clock. I think that's really original. Yeah, there you, yeah no, yeah. I mean, just, just to keep track of time. Clock. Yeah. Yeah. Optimism, my only weakness. Hello, Crimson Albedo. How are you today? Albedo? Albedo. Hey, Albedo. Crimson's here. Hello, Martha. welcome. You know Crimson? I do know him. All right, cool. He's on the uh, <laughs> Discord channel. Oh, there's that. Oh, sorry. I'm actually starting right now. Oh, God. Oh, there's subtitles now. I forgot. Never mind. We can talk over it. <laughs> no. Is this... So it is you that made the voices, right? That yeah, that's right. It's all me. <laughs> Beautiful. I knew it. Nope, nothing's quite like it. Oh, so I was close with my thing. Okay, cool. I love it. Very close. When they when they stream the game to me, I can't I can like barely hear the audio, so I kinda got like uh like little bits and clips of it, but that's very fun. That's fun. I like that. Oh no, we're out of oh guys, guys, guys. We're out of gas. Oh. oh, I said the name of the game. <laughs> so true. looks fortunate <laughs> i think i think the gas is right over here just beyond this so uh, i do have a few questions for you trevor because i you know i try to be a good reporter boy um start with a, a softball of a question here uh what is right. your name home address and social security number <laughs> just really just right. you can just nail just, it out of the park just a softball <laughs> nah. so my name's trevor kellogg i am a game dev currently living in the los angeles area Ooh. this is out of gas a game i've made all by my lonesome except for the music the music was created by the very talented tritachion tritachion okay yeah i was about to say um before we went live that i was listening to the main mu like the menu music and it's it's so good i, awesome, I it, it, like the so music talented. is yeah it's really cool um no, an actual. Check out those hotkeys. That... Oh shit! What is this? A new update or something? Ah, oh, dude. I pressed a button I... and it switched. What the hell? What is I this sorcery? <laughs> I never. Well, I would have never guessed. Oh my god. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. Where was? It? Oh yeah. So. Did you want to explain what the the kind of the um. How the the battle system works? I guess. Because right. we kind of know, but like. Sure. Yeah, so Out of Gas, it features a turn-based combat system. And uh, the coolest thing about it is the uh, carnival shooter or shoot shooting gallery combat system. Mm -hmm. So basically, each monster you face has uh, body tiles uh, that are associated with you know common role-playing game attributes. So in the upper right, you can see you've got... Uh, purple gauge for the aim 
a blue gauge for the mobility and a yellow gauge for the power. So this monster, this squisher, this unfortunate squisher that Fiskake is about to dismantle. Oh, uh, oh I'm going to get He's got all of those three stats are scattered over his body. So if you destroy any tile that's associated with, say, a power tile, he'll take power damage. That means there you go. So he just takes 30 power damage, which means that he'll do 30 less damage to you when he hits you. And he looks and a little can... bit uglier too, just just a little bit though, not not too much different, you know. That's right. That's what I oh. call wasteland dentistry. That's <laughs> how we do it back in the waste, baby. So I actually no do have a. Anesthesia, man. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no anesthesia. No, <laughs> we don't have time for that. Um, I was actually going to ask you what kind of inspired you to make this game. My guess was that you play like you played Fallout. And you use the right. VAT system, and you're like, yeah, this is right. the best part of the entire video game. But that's just <laughs> my guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge <laughs> fan of the Fallout series. Mainly the first two, but I played 3 and 4 and, and uh, New Vegas. But uh, yeah, the VAT system in Fallout um, definitely influenced um, this combat. You know, I love uh, I loved turn-based combat, but uh, I guess never got into it as heavy as I did like a CRPGs turn-based combat. So mm -hmm. yeah. So one day I was just thinking about this system. I was thinking about stats. How can you make, how could you make an interesting uh, turn-based combat game and bring in this, uh, bring in a new fresh way and, and this damaging tile system kind of came in. And... Organs used to never be a thing. Oh really? Organs were just, they just stayed there. They stayed there and they were static. Almost mm -hmm. like, you know, the anatomy, the little film. I don't know if you guys remember those. Like an encyclopedia, you'd see and you'd be like, oh, cool. And you peel it back. And then you'd see all the, the organs and guts inside. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of yeah. like that. We're, we're a static and it would just hang out there. But in poking around with uh, Game Maker, which is what I made this in. Oh, cool. I was like, well, why don't we make organs fall out? And you know what? I and think that was, that, was, that was a bold choice, but I think you did. I think you, I think you nailed it out of the park there with that one. It's just Thanks, a, man. yeah, no problem. It's a, it's a, it's a very gross game, but it's a very, but it's enjoyable. I guess is the better mm -hmm. way to say it. It's not like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hate it. No, it's like it's gross. <laughs> I love it. It's like ass scary monsters. Like you're just shooting that entire cast the entire time. Uh, I love seeing the YouTube comments when people say stuff like, "This is." this is gross i don't appreciate this at all that just that makes the whole thing worth it oh absolutely and at that point you're like well people like that do what just i said i don't understand people like that don't watch the videos then i was about to say i don't know, yes. I don't know. <laughs> this seems easy no 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 it's it's, uh, it's you know that's just impossible you just can't not give your opinion about something that's not how the internet works god so in this screen right here is just basically second battle. So we're telling the user a little bit more of how the system works, labeling all the the gauges and dials and stuff mm -hmm. that the player sees. And, Ooh. And, yeah, yeah. My motto for life, keep high or die in my right 420. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Fart noises, I hate that. Keeps watching. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like if you're taking the time out of your day to like make a comment, then like, who who win? Did you get anybody at the at the end of that? I don't know. I don't know. Let me be the armchair internet historian here. Don't mind me. So how excited were you when you woke up one day and you saw a Northern Lion doing an <laughs> LP of your game? Dude, that was that was so awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, I just oh, I I had spent the, I can't remember how long after release that was i want to say a week or two because it, it was like yeah i think it was like a week a week or two yeah. yeah yeah so i was just trolling and looking to see if anybody had picked it up because i'd sent it out to a bunch of streamers and press outlets and stuff like that mm -hmm. and uh for a while it was just whenever i'd look through youtube it would just be the videos i had been posting <laughs> yeah. and all of a sudden <laughs> here's this here's this Northern lion thumbnail that pops up and I'm like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> Checked it no out way. quick. And just, Oh dude, that was so cool. I bet. Yeah. I mean, that was a, that was a huge boost. And I, it, frankly, I think that's probably the, 
I'm sure we would have stumbled across this game probably like years down the road, like in the Steam sale or something, and be like, oh, well, you know, this is worth checking out. But after watching him play, we're like, oh yeah, we uh, we're adding this to the the raw star. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's right. That's yeah. how we met up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll do the mat maneuver and heal myself with the power of rage. Yeah. Bold yeah, move, Cotton. Just a heal. Ha! You're just you're, you're a heal. Got him. I don't, no, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Damn it! I'm no. a bad wrestler. No. <laughs> People hate you, and that's why they love you. Oh no. Oh god. Oh okay. All right. Well, yeah. His uh his video is how. Uh, how we found out of gas, and I sent mm. it to Fist Cake, literally as soon as I, like, got done watching it. I was like, because we were gonna do start doing YouTube content on, just content complete. Mm -hmm. I was like, this has to be the first game. Look mm. at it. It yeah, has so much character. It. That's so cool, man. There is a lot. Yeah, this uh, it's chock full of character. Speaking of characters, Matt, do you want to voice the guy in the wheelchair? Or not? No, sorry, not the wheelchair. The rocking chair. You wanna, you wanna voice this old man? You said you were gonna voice him. You, you said you're gonna voice somebody. So I just want to make sure you. All right, I'm gonna, gonna. You just, suck. I'm just gonna walk right <laughs> up to him now. Hey, fist cake, you do the old man. I'll do Jack. Is that all right? Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can also do that. <laughs> you got out of this one, Matt. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> uh, I smell you, whatever you are. So don't try to hide. Who's there? Wait, let me guess. Wee wee! A dumpster! You run this heap, old man. I'm out of gas. He said the name of the game. Oh my god. Rats, should have guessed. Talking dumpster. Eh, uh, was it? Gas, you say? Ha! Ha, I say! Hasn't been any gas in his place since my great, great, great granddaddy run it into the ground like a lead lemming. No, you're straight out of luck if it's gas you're looking for. Thanks for wasting my time, sphincter face. If you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving this charming one hick die forever. Feel free, turd brains. Don't let the desert wind bite you on the ass. Course, if you weren't a sissy, I might know where you could find some. Too bad you're a sissy, though. Watch it, old man. Oh, is that a hint of backbone a peeking? Just get on with it, or I'll turn that rocker into your coffin, Gramps. Hee hee hee! Might be some gas in the cellar cave, now that I think of it. If you don't mind cleaning up some beasties tween here and there, is all yours. It better not be rats. Oh, don't worry, meathead. It's not rats. He <laughs> he <laughs> Now, why don't you go find a hole and fall in it, punk? Seriously, that's how you get down there. That hole over in my tire patch. Now get. Fine. But while I'm gone, find another eye patch and cover up that unnerving gore socket. I don't like it staring at me. What am I in a sack to cover your face, too? Ha! Right after I find a clothespin from a nose. Good luck on your quest, you smelly hippie. I hope you find the soap you're after. Hee ha! <laughs> I love the refined touch you added to. <laughs> I appreciate. It. I didn't want to do oh, Spencer man. just like exactly copy his thing, so I, I decided just to mm -hmm. just to just twitch it twitch it up a little bit. No, twist it up a little twitch bit. Twitch it up. Both. Yes. What is this? What is I this? I do appreciate your laugh. You sounded like that British comedian. He 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 he. Jimmy I don't. Carr? Pra? I, I mean, I don't know. Name. I'm sure yeah. I stole it from somebody. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, you can talk, Matt. Matt, it's okay. You can talk. You can be part of the conversation. Ah, ah, ah! It did actually scare me for a second. I was like, "Oh shit, I forgot." Yeah. Ow! No! Oh god! I've been clawed to death. No. So the so cool part. Can... Oh yeah, Sorry, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, Fiskig. 
No, I was just going to say, like, the cool part is, like you said earlier, that each enemy has a different, like, uh, basically weaknesses and uh, spots that you should be aiming for. And yeah. it took us a minute to kind of figure, like, oh, we're shooting this guy in the face, but his vision isn't really going down or his uh, accuracy. And then I think I remember, like, me or Spencer suggested shooting an ear. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, right. that's what it is, because they're in the dark all the time. So they can't see. Yeah. So why would they why mm -hmm. would they do that? So I thought that was like a really cool touch. I really enjoyed that. Ah, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Anyways, off of the ears. <laughs> yeah, this is you a really know, cool creature. Can't wait to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked it in the original Fallout's. Um, maybe the three and four did it, where you could you could shoot stuff and all like the groin and the eyes, <laughs> the eyeballs and the head and stuff like that. Yeah, that sounds see, like a yeah, an older Fallout thing. <laughs> right. Uh, and you'd see them in the little text box in the bottom react. I, that that's always stuck with me, and <laughs> just how they they did that with the different creatures. So yeah, I have to try to get back and I I I I have tried to play Fallout one or two. I can't remember which one. Like a handful of times, and it's just. We've gone so far ahead in video games. It's it's a hard. It's a little bit difficult for me to go that far back, but right. I do enjoy like all the flavors and like all the st stories I hear about it. Um, right. Like, all the all the cool things you can do with it. Right. Oh, organs, beautiful. Yeah, me and Spencer went on a CRPG, uh, like marathon a few years back, and we tried to play Fallout One and Two. It was it was difficult. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it is for sure. It's one, of, it's yeah, <laughs> it's one of those oldies. Yeah, it's the, the nostalgia is pretty much what got me through on my latest playthrough. Hmm. Uh, this nostalgia is a hell of a drug. That's how we got through God Hand, or how I got through God Hand. Some old Japanese beat him up from the guy who made Resident Evil Two. Oh, that was that was a good time. Good times had by all. Now and we have good time. <laughs> now we have X-ray vision, so now Check we can see Jag. Out. Look at that! Ah, I'm here, and I'm over here. I'm inside the walls. Uh oh. Yoink. <laughs> Ooh. Speed run strat. Right. <laughs> Get past this guy. Hey. Oh, oh. That was easy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. No, excuse me. Hit. Hey. Ooh. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it was a good run, though. You know, we we tried. So back to the monsters, um, that once I created that simple system with the three stats, mm -hmm. I basically, I, what, what the goal is, is to basically allow for the player to become like a desert or wasteland ranger of sorts, where you basically, you, you learn, you become a master of your enemy's weaknesses. And mm -hmm. a lot of that is just done by, you know, Guess and check. Guess and knife. Like, <laughs> this do it now. When in doubt, knife it out. <laughs> knife um, to meet you. And just okay. all the I think there's over 70 monsters in the whole game, in bosses and mini bosses. Ooh. So I had, I had a lot of fun coming up with different orientations and different spreads for the stats and challenging players' expectations, throwing weird monsters like the Pustlet, for example. Man. But, yeah, it, it creates a really fun kind of trial and error loop where mm -hmm. once you find a new monster, you're like, okay, knife all the things that look important mm -hmm. and then figure out what you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, Crimson in the chat says, hard to go back to those old games sometimes, even sometimes if you aren't fueled by the nostalgia, especially with as far as games have come out oh, back to her earlier. Yeah. Yes, it is. Like, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. As uh, Charles Murphy once said, I think that's the quote. Uh, when I started working on uh, Out of Gas, I was playing Bloodborne at the time. Ooh! And, uh, I'm actually, it's fun, funny, I'm actually starting, I started to go through it again a couple of days ago. And what I like about that game, or what I took from that game, was that you can, you know, when you first run into a monster, you know, let alone the, the bosses, even a regular monster can just wreck you right so mm -hmm. but after you fight them more and more you can come up with i mean you can basically interrupt them all the time just manhandle them interrupt them and visceral attack them 
because you become a master of their their attacks and you get the timing down and everything. I really like that aspect, and I, I think that some of that rubbed off during the development. Now, Bloodborne's a pretty good game. I uh, still need to beat it at some point, but I'll just wait until it comes out for PC or whatever, or whatever the speculation <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I, I, I have heard, yeah. I mean, it's probably just a rumor, but, you know, I can dream. So I'm going to check a yeah. grenade at this boy right in his chest, and let's see some damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Boom. Flex Seal won't fix that one. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Flex Seal, man. It's just not happening. Although I don't know why I'm worried about conserving ammo since we're just doing a, a quick look here, but it's just kind of like habits formed by watching Matt play. Oh, ha ha. That's nice. Poopy. Special delivery, dum dum. <laughs> Wait. Did he did he actually poop all the does he just poop in the same hole over and over again? Yeah. Man, I guess That's what else you supposed lore. to <laughs> Was that also inspired by Bloodborne? <laughs> the the lore of the poop? <laughs> Oh no! Don't you have call to me. wait till the uh, collector's edition strategy guide comes out. Got gotcha. you. The, the prima or speculation section. Uh, the prima guides version or whatever. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll shoot. Oh, oh yeah! I can change the the firing pattern. How could I forget? Oh, that's a beautiful eyeball. Wowie. He looks happy to be here. Yeah, one thing I really dig about this game is that the everything like the user interface everything it fits into the style of the game a lot mm. i really mm. really like that mm. well thanks man you got some yeah, style I had, points I had a lot of fun doing that i i uh did some ui design in a previous job so uh oh, okay cool a lot, of, a lot of fun to do that yeah, i imagine like just doing making all these little things were like fun, like I imagine, like you found joy in doing like every little bit of this game, probably, mm -hmm. except for maybe like the actual coding process. But maybe you found joy in that too. I'm not for sure. <laughs> Problem solving, man, it's it's fun. Especially when you beat your face against it for like three hours straight, and then the solution comes up very easily, and you're like, <laughs> exactly. oh yeah, okay. Why didn't I think of that before? Okay, cool. So here we've got a monster. It's got oh, yeah. some uh... pubes. It's got pubes right here. They're armored right. pubes. Look at that. I wow, worked in the pubes to all all seventy five plus monster. If you look close enough. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but then again, I mean, wait till the strategy guy comes out. Oh no, his hands are made out of pubes too. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's cool. Huh? Wow, we. That's terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, it's the first uh, monster that introduces armor. Yeah. That's right, that too, Matt. Most of the pubes <laughs> thing, but yeah. Mostly pubes, the, yeah. but the armor <laughs> thing. Yeah, armor's cool. But just having like a random ladder of pubes up to the guy's face, I, that, you know, I might have to incorporate it, incorporate that into my look, honestly. Just for shits and giggles. See how much Evie would like that. I'm sure she'll love it. Oh, God. The voices. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> The, uh, the Gremlin were voice effects were some of the first I recorded, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I guess it make, yeah, makes sense with the, it being one of the first monsters. Right. The Gremlin was the first <laughs> monster, actually. When the when I first started the prototype, mm -hmm. it just dumped you. It gave you some, like, a little brief exposition wall of text. And then it dumped you out in the gas station map. And you just you know, walked up to the old man and started talking to him. And then just going over with some friends and, and talking about it, I was like, well, you need some, like, you know, some approach, some story, and uh, some build up. So threw in the uh, two approach maps. And then I was like, I need something to for the player to fight that's, like, not super threatening. And it's fun to show the systems. And then the squisher was born. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Am I great? Do you just, do you just click on this? Do you, oh, no, there's a timer. Is that the thing? 
Is that why I can't use it? Uh, I'm, you can't use the, uh, if you click it, does it? It makes a sound yeah. effect. Oh, there, oh, I see. <laughs> Whoops. That's, right. uh, that's, that's on me. I saw Matt do that a thousand times. I don't know why I didn't think that far. You didn't pay attention to that helpful UI I, I slaved on in, in I'm sorry. version 104, I think. <laughs> that, that was the one I slaved on. I specifically remember it. Okay, what did we find? Oh, we got uh, a gas can. Finally, now I can get out of this. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Worthless old man. Time to go give him a piece of my mind. Uh-oh, why is he upset? Will we ever know? Find out on the next episode of Right Now. Here we go. It's Armored like Netflix, Pubes. Man. Go right to the next episode. <laughs> hey, just skip intro. Go, go, go. Armored Pubes, adding things for people to run from the videos. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think people are going to run away from Armored Pubes. They just won't attack the Armored Pubes right off of the get-go. <clears throat> I think that would ensure you don't get attacked via melee, I think. True. That is true. Yeah, they, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. A streaker with the uh, armored pubes. Let's go. <clears throat> Howdy and pleased to greet you, Mange. No, we don't have sleeves for sale around these parts. And no, we don't want any whey protein supplements or cat magazine subscriptions, neither. How, how does he know he needs sleeves? Is that part of that, like that madman's knowledge? Deep <laughs> lore. Oh my god. Now, get. This gas can is empty, old man. Uh-oh. What? You? You're back already? Hope ye'd be dead by now. <laughs> you sent me on a worthless errand. And now I think I'll turn you into vulture bait as a thank you. Isn't that what you wanted? A gas can? Pureed vulture bait. No? Well, why didn't you say you wanted a full gas can? We could have avoided this if you'd been clearer. Just remember to be clearer next time. Why should I let you live? When you like to know. What? <laughs> now, I can't rightly remember where the last place was I saw some gas. Not on this empty stomach of mine, that is. I see a pattern forming. Be a good, bad-smelling hippie and go catch me some scatfish up at a sucky pond. At a sucky pond? <clears throat> at sucky pond. I hate patterns, old man. Especially ones that affect my time. That in Argyle. That's fair. You just go on now and bring me back some juicy fillets, and then we'll talk. This better jar your memory, old man, or I'll jar and pickle it for you. Just head west, Pest. Find the path on the other side of the dead tree. Let your nose be your guide. When it smells almost as bad as you, you'll know you're there. Hee 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 <laughs> It's like a link. Yeah, it's like a very proper link. Hee hee Oh, who's this guy? He's so evil and mysterious. What is the That's pit? such good art right there. I love that face. <laughs> it is a very scary face. Thanks, man. I am terrified. Or terrified for you English-speaking people. I like the uh, refined old man saying, Stomach oh my. Stomach oh my. Okay. Matt, you gotta do meat boy. Can you do meat boy? Me. You're doing it. See? Brutal death wagon you got there. Meat. He did it. Right. Any chance you're willing to part with some of that sweet ordinance racked up on it? Meat. 
So wait, are you telling me that if I bring you some meat, you'll trade me for the stuff I need? <gasps> meat? Good inflection. Let's go <laughs> with one meat for yes, two meats for no. Meat. Sounds like a deal to me. Actually, the best conversation I've had all day. Wait, you don't have any gas, do you? Me? Never mind. Beautiful performance, Matt. I, you know, I, I was waiting for that. I really I tried like... to bring the character to life. You did. Like, honestly, like, I felt like I was there with the guy that only speaks meat. That's his language, <laughs> is meat. So if we go back down here, do we get me? No, I can't remember. I thought you guys. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Aha. Yes. Oh God, Jack, what are you doing here? He's escaped from the game. No. Jack, please, not like this. Don't shoot anybody. All right. Let's... Kill that. Yeah. Oh God. No, Jack. No. Not like this. I thought I had one more question for you before. Okay. Yeah. Just before I forgot about it, uh, what what were some like important either like life lessons or like game design lessons you learned from making this game? Did you find out the true meaning of life? Is it truly seventy two or whatever? That forty two. <laughs> forty two. Yeah. Forty two. Oh. Uh, good question, man. Life lessons, or what did I learn? Mm -hmm. So, um. One thing I learned is I don't think I want to work on a game alone <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a very isolating process. Um, I'm naturally more introverted, I think. So um, I didn't mind working on my own, but man, just wanting to missing that office environment where I can get up and go bother somebody else and see what they're doing or have them come look over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing going forward. Uh, another thing is just how important prototyping is. Um, I uh, suffer from chronic, like, not finishing stuff. Because I... Same. I, <laughs> yeah, right. I just dream up an idea that's too big. And uh, before I even put, you know, the uh, pen to paper, so to speak. Mm. So this one was just... I had this idea. I think it... and I. I just tried to, you just got movement down, then I got movement between maps down, then I got, you know, dialogue going, and then I got combat going and then hooked up. I think it took me like a week or, or so, and then com combat was up. So anyway, I, I basically built this core, and, you know, it's like a proof of concept with the combat mm -hmm. system. And then uh, it showed it to friends and family and got feedback. And then basically just built on that. And I had a loose idea of the story that I wanted to tell, wanted to tell mm -hmm. the different acts and, uh, you know, kind of what was going on loosely in each area. But I kept that. I kept my creative brain from running away and uh, allowed the, the engineering and all the, the coding to take place and come up with that prototype. And then it, that was easy to build on. So you said that your family... Uh participate in helping you out how 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 uh how um how was that like was your mom like i don't know about the graphics on level two or whatever that stupid game design commercial is but uh well, i know the mom... graphics on level two yeah yeah that's what it is <laughs> uh well my mom she uh she's always like can you draw more flowers or something nice like that trevor <laughs> mom i don't know how to draw flowers i never <laughs> learned <laughs> i draw cute awful things mom yeah nothing else i don't know how leave me alone Get out of my room <laughs> mom no <laughs> but i know that so, that is uh, that is cool that you got your uh family and friends involved because i feel like if it was me, not that like any part of this is embarrassing or whatever, but I'm just kind of like a kind of a shy person when it comes like to right. my creativity. So like even like trying to 
uh be that far out for anybody he's like uh no that's okay i'll just test it and yep it runs fine oh why does everybody hate this game oh it's terrible that okay oh jeez right. okay right yeah i uh i've you know as a creative person that's been something i've battled with mm -hmm. over the years gotten a lot better with it um through the different projects i've worked on and uh this one i was just so excited about it and uh, the, the artwork was pretty pretty rough in the prototype and i remember sending it to some of my friends and i was just so excited about the core concept and like what it would lead to you know mm -hmm. like okay mm -hmm. i can i can think of all these other different cool monster ideas and world areas and stuff like that this is going to be great and they're just looking at the you know the like ms paint fart art that i've i've just put everywhere yeah. and it's like this doesn't look that great <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see that being a thing. Like where uh, you, like you, you see where it's going to be. Like you see the end destination, but they just see the road, and they're like, "I don't." I yeah, I guess this is a post-apocalypse. I don't, I don't. Yeah, sure, man. Right. Oh. Sucky Bond. <laughs> I agree. Got him. That's that's actually a line from one of the uh, beta testers that helped me out. Good friend. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he. I was watching him. We had these a good friend of mine. Sean helped me uh, do a lot of playtesting in his like man cave garage. So we'd have like four or five stations set up and I'd be like a pit boss kind of just hanging out, taking notes and watching over people's shoulders. And this other good friend. Listen, you had me at me. man cave he, slash garage. I'm, I'm, I'm in for the story <laughs> now. Let's go. So Matt's walked in there and he was like, sucky pun. <laughs> I agree. So I was like, I got to. I gotta throw that in there. That's <laughs> something totally Jack would say when he first walks in. Oh yeah, no, I believe it one hundred percent. So yeah, that's cool. I didn't. You had like a whole crew of friends that helped you taste this game. Right. Yeah, a bunch. If you look in the credits, there's a lot of people I put in there in the thanks section. Hell yeah. We'll, we'll get good friends. What uh? What and great people. Uh... Sorry. Oh, go, oh, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. I was uh, gonna oh, say. Uh... Uh oh. <laughs> we need a moderator go ahead you go ahead sorry matt i was gonna say no that problem. uh and also other excellent people like crimson in chat writing a great right. review for out of gas giving me all kinds of great feedback let me know that what kind of bugs they found crimson hey, where's the secret weapon there's a secret. Well, well, where is the secret weapon? Wait, hold on. Wait, no, no, you have to answer that. <laughs> it's like that cop thing. More than one. There's several. Oh my god. Shit. Matt, I I totally just tap danced on your face there. Sorry, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, I was gonna ask, uh, what made you choose the uh, game maker? So I chose game maker because it was the program that would let me hit the ground running and, and get get spun up as fast as possible. Um, I have a computer science background. That's what I went to school for, but just no, oh. I had no real passion to do it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so out of college, I spent uh, quite a while uh, working as a software tester. And uh, but basically, basically, I knew that if I was going to get into this and really make this thing happen, it'd have to, I'd have to like reduce the amount of barriers as much as possible. So yeah. I, f I found Game Maker. It's really easy to get into. They have a cool drag and drop coding system where you don't you learn a lot of the concepts by just visually, and then later on I just got into the under the hood and into the code and just so it was it really enabled me to to finish this. That's really cool. I've heard a uh, like quite a few games are made on Game Maker. Really, um, Spelunky, right? Spelunky that Hotline Miami. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot how in Miami. I think they're like Drifter. I think is. Oh, holy shit! Let's go, on yeah. Game Maker. Oh. All right. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you love to see that. Here we go. So, Fist Cake, what is the puzzle? Uh, what's what's the strategy here that you've devised on your own? I have started throwing grenades at it. No. <laughs> grenades um, are good. <laughs> it works. Uh, honestly, I, right now I'm not even thinking about a strategy. But if I remember correctly, what when me and when Matt was on the uh, you know taking the reins, I believe we went for the teeth, and then we went for like 
eyeballs, if I remember correctly, or just try to do as much damage as you can, as many squares as possible. So I'm trying to vaguely do that, but it, it's been, I'm just kind of on an aisle pod of talking with you guys because my brain, my brain don't work that good. I can't do both. Yeah, we, we flipped through a bunch of different strategies. Because mm. I remember before I was like, yeah, I'll just like attack the eyes and then they'll miss. And they miss, but it's not often enough, I think. Mm -hmm. To uh, be worth it, yeah. To, to be worth it in some fights. Some fights is definitely worth it. Mm. Uh, and then we started going for the weapons or their, their, their deck. pity parts. And then we're like, well, that's good too. But we miss a lot. So then we went to the for accuracy, and I think we're we're on the accuracy train right now, just okay. trying to get as many hits as we can. Mm -hmm. I forgot to pick up the grenades after I threw them. Whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna doink. Also, something else that's that's cool is the the progression of the game, like the how you get stronger. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like. When we were playing before, I was like, it doesn't seem like you get that much stronger or whatever. And then we'll go back to like explore Sucky Pond and we're just wrecking things in like <laughs> two or two or three hits. Is that, uh, how did you come up with a, such a, I don't know, it seems like a kind of behind the scenes progression where, I don't know, it's just right. super interesting. Right. You don't really cool, like man. see yourself progressing right away, but like, you see it when you go back to preview series, like, oh yeah, these guys are <laughs> easy peasy. Exactly. Good, good. I'm glad you appreciate that. Yeah, I I try to do that to balance that as much as possible, um, because I I like I like it when games give the um, give the player a sense of the progression of their power. Like, mm. just like you said, when you go back to Sucky Pony, you just like feel like one shotting puslets or squishers. Um, anytime you can give the the player a chance to to see how far they've come, I think that's a good thing. So I personally I love uh, coming back and buying a new weapon and then going and trying it out on a squisher. <laughs> oh, I bet you yeah. find some <laughs> unassuming squisher like come here you. I'm gonna try this <laughs> rocket launcher out on you. Sorry, man, I'm about to ruin your day. Uh, Crimson says, I don't think the explosions in this game will ever stop being satisfying. They are very good to explain. Yeah, a lot of, them. yeah, a lot of things are very satisfying to hit. Like, I don't know, everything has a good oomph to it. Mm. Yeah, good, good. It's got, it's got the weight. That. Oh, hell yeah. Let's fight a meatball. Or the splutlet. But yeah, definitely going back to town and getting new weapons and stuff like that. Just seeing things that are unlocked and stuff. It's super dope. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I watched your recent video, and mm -hmm. Matt, one of the a great reaction was uh, you coming back to the store after defeating Act 1, and you opened up the store, and everything, all the new stuff's there, and you had the, oh, yeah. the, a reaction I really liked. You were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more? Look at all this new stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was really cool. I, uh, I do like yeah, the variety. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like you're gonna like unlock things, like more stuff. So I was super like, "Oh shit! Look at all we have! So many options." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you get the new round of uh, upgrades, pattern upgrades, and then special upgrades for each weapon when you go to a new act. So. Oh, each act even. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, I noticed that we got new upgrades for the weapons with after the first one, but I just, I, I, I didn't, I guess I didn't really think about too much after that. I'm like, oh, that's neat. That's cool. There's more to come, even. Oh yeah. Sixty nine percent. Let's how, go. How does the uh, how does the pus bar feel? How does the pus? I mean, it, it's very cor oh boy, armor boy. Um, the pus the pus bar. It's very it's very tingly. Um. It feels like I'm even being corroded, but I, I don't want to go that far, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare say something like that, you know. Uh, let's throw, a, let's throw a grenade at this guy. We're just gonna check it right in the center mass here, see what we can get, get going. Crimson, I'm, I'm glad you like the explosions. By the way, I forgot to say that. 
Yeah, we tried the the napalm one, I think, also, and that, that that's pretty. No, the 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 nuclear one, I think. Yeah, the nuclear one, and it's like cool. shaped like a, a mushroom cloud. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Very nice touch. That's a Italian hand. <laughs> Thanks, chef. Man. Chef kiss. Why? Yeah, that that was another really fun um, challenge for my game dev brain. Was uh, you know making monsters was one I just talked about, but then also coming up with different weapon patterns mm -hmm. and how they progress, um, what their shape is like, um, what their special abilities are. Um, that was just a ton of fun to come up with. Just daydream of all the kids kind of you know things you can put in your toolkit to dismantle hmm. monsters it's a, it's always fun to have a a, a cool toolkit um what was i was gonna say there was i don't know was like I, I listened to like a bunch of podcasts and i can't remember which one of them was talking about it but like some people are like you know even over a progression system i think what's even cooler is like having like more tools to defeat your enemies with and mm -hmm. to like be able to do cool you know cool things with it so right i feel like you're just nailing out of the park with all like oh this feels good oh, that also feels good <laughs> this is cool okay sweet great man that's great to hear dude yeah and it all makes sense in the world which i think is very cohesive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you what was the uh inspiration for the hipster <laughs> the hipster goal because that's California. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so bef before he rolled onto the scene, um, <laughs> I see you, what you did you just there. Jack's head was in the lower left of the map, and you would click on him, and then that would bring up the uh, the character progression scene or s screen mm -hmm. that you have uh, they see now. And my friend and I were talking. And uh, he was like, he said something like, you know, it'd be cool to interact with somebody, another character, because he liked, he liked Gordimer and the meat guy and, and Cuddles, the, the old guy. And, and I was like, okay. So I just thought about it and I was like. Time out. Time out. I can't remember. Hold on. Time out. The guy's name is Gordimer? The meat guy? Yeah, that's Gordimer. That's the best fucking name I've ever heard of. Why? <laughs> Holy shit, Gordimer! I love it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. What about Cuddles, the old man? Cuddles. Yeah, I, Cuddles. Nuts. Cuddles is pretty good. I, but I think I like the ingenuity of Gordimer. Like it's just Mortimer, but you, you put a G in there, and the game's gory. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's just you just kind of jump canceled into that combo, and I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, man, dude. I'm a very Glad big fan like of it. puns, so. <laughs> All right, time in. Sorry, go ahead, continue. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the um, you can. That's another thing I like like doing is not over explaining things. I tried to not do that. Even the the lore. I mean, the amount of lore that's that's in it in this game. Uh, you know, I don't tell the names straight away, but you can learn them through other characters talking about them. Or if you watch the little uh, call out, little barks, or like the dialogue that pops up above mm -hmm. the old man and. When you're sitting there, he'll call him Gordy. And, ah. um, but anyway, the uh, hipster ghoul's name is, is Douge. <laughs> Douge, that's yeah. the official. Okay. It's kind of like a fancy, like a, like a douchey way to spell Doug. <laughs> but it's actually Douge. So anyway, I, to answer your question, Matt, um, well, I, I grew up in the uh, Pacific Northwest, so there's a lot of hipster culture up there. Hmm. So I think that that rolled in, and I think I, I can't, you know, the cassette tape idea and like these weird radioactive tapes, you know, like rewriting Jack's brain and putting stuff in there, like that came <laughs> along separately. And then I was like, okay, what well, I can make him a hipster, like a snooty hipster ghoul that loves this collecting cassette tapes, and has a little player that you can use to listen to the tapes and level your character up. So that's how he popped out. See, I always nice. thought he was like cool. a. Sorry, go ahead, Matt. I was just saying that was super cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just thought douche was just like a very fancy way of saying douche. So you, you know, you got me, you tricked me there. 
I also thought that. Yeah. I was like, that. Nah. Oh, that's <laughs> totally, that's totally what it is. He thinks it's he thinks it's Doug. Oh, uh, he thinks. Okay, that's kind of like Wimp Low. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys were not wrong. <laughs> oh shit! This is Battle Bug. Be Battle Bug. Oh, yeah. Right. Say that five times fast. Holy shit. Yeah, bud. I'm just gonna throw a grenade at his face. <laughs> so, uh, for each creature, did you have like a list of names for them, and then you could just kind of like went down each one and thought like, eh? Yeah, or were you like first the creature or the name? Ooh, that's a good one. I like that question better. That's a really good question. Um, usually the creature comes first, and then the name follows. Hmm. There might have been a case where that wasn't wasn't that order, but I have to think about it. Nope. Oh. I heard I heard loud breathing coming up out of nowhere as my girlfriend's parents pug, so alright. I was scared for a second. I'm like, oh god, the monsters are becoming <laughs> real. No. They're real. Oh no. Jack's cassette tapes mixtape win, asks Crimson. <laughs> That that's the OnlyFans content. I'm sorry, Crimson. You're gonna have to wait wait for that. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Oh, he's he's about dead. We we can we could probably slice him and dice him. Lots of blue blood on the floor. So much blood, Wally. Oh God. Oh jeez. So yeah, that um, that one area, or the, the caves underneath the gas station, and then the approach, that was like what you could call a tutorial, just mm -hmm. getting used to combat. And now we're into the thick of Act 1, Sucky Bond. Oh, shit. We are, we're definitely yeah. in the thick of it. God bless America. Well, I felt like, you know, we explored Sucky Bond because we got lost a little bit. We did. Um, we got very lost, but yeah. I mean, it was it was kind of beneficial because it made the scatfish fight a bit easier with our thirty thousand grenades and stuff. So that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we destroyed the the scatfish. Yeah, you did. Um, but yeah, we, I felt like we explored it really, you know, pretty thoroughly, and then I guess we didn't because there's like still secrets and stuff there that we we did not find. Oh. They're very I, well hidden. It, thanks, man. And that's the influence of uh, games I really liked, like uh, the original Zelda and then Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Like, I just, I really loved how you'd enter into a map and you'd see, like, a heart container up on the cliff. And you'd be like, how do I get to that? And uh, you'd just be, like, trying to figure that out. And it wouldn't be till later... We off you got bombs or whatever, and you could get into the cave and climb up to the top. And I love that sense of discovery and find mm. stumbling across, across stuff. I really love that. It is pretty fun to do that. I also enjoy like, oh shit, I can't wait to figure out what ability I get to get that thing. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah, it's cool because they kind of show up, kind of like your, some of the secrets are things like on the cliff and stuff like that they kind of show up like metroidvania secrets mm. like you're talking about where it's like this is where you're you can get to but i don't know if you can get there yet all right hmm. i'm uh not These doing so hot is giving you trouble yeah they're just just Last a little difficult bullet. better save it for yourself fist cake yeah, that's that's why I'll throw the grenade. <laughs> Post-apocalyptic post rule number twenty-seven. <laughs> Save the last bullet, not for them. Oh no! Oh god! Oh jeez, I forgot these guys were outside. Oh boy! Oh god! Oh jeez! Okay, well, well, let's do a little heal a Rooney. Uh, save. Okay. No oh, boy. Um. Just go for the eyes. Why not? 
Or should I go for the damage? Hmm. The damage seems to hurt me, so I should probably stop damage. How do I stop? Oh, okay, <laughs> dog. That's fine. Just walk over the cord. No big deal. That's cool. Oh, those pugs. Okay. Alright, yeah. Should have probably just started with attacking the damage to begin with. Uh, Crimson says, yeah, that sense of discovery is great. Some clever stuff on most of the secret guns. Hell yeah, I can't wait to figure out the secrets of the secret guns. The Hardy Boys presents. Uh. Oh. Okay. So he's dealing less damage. So that, that's, that's, a, that's a start. We won't die immediately. Get that. that would oh. be a sweet uh, like mashup is the Hardy Boys, but in a post a bleak post apocalyptic wasteland. <laughs> they're both like but radiated they're still, to like, the wholesome. point. Yeah. yeah, they're still wholesome. <laughs> they're both There's, radiated like, to shit. And everything and all sorts of horrible <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And they're just like, I don't know. Come on, guys, we gotta find this. I don't know. I've never read Hardy Boys, but I assume they find things. <laughs> That's, I mean, I think that's probably part of it, at least, yeah. Come on, guys, let's solve this mystery so we can go back to the diner and have some soda pops with the ladies. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my roller skates. Okay. Mah. And they talked like gangsters, too. It's it's fine. <laughs> yes. Gangster apocalypse. <laughs> well, there's too many gangs. Oh, uh, no. Now I'm out of ammo. The name of the sequel. Now I don't. <laughs> now I just got too much gas. Now I need ammo. Dun dun. So if you were to make another game, Trevor, would you go back to Game Maker or would you start looking into other things? Good question. I'm teaching myself Unity right now. Ooh. Which would be fun to use once I get, get a handle on it. Mm -hmm. But, um,. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I just I know Game Maker so well. Um, it'd be a shame to just move on. I don't want to really do that, but uh, I guess I'm just looking for something new right now. So, Unity's where it at. I'm where it's at. I'm working on a prototype right now for a another game idea I have. So, that's going along nicely. Yeah. Thanks. You heard it here first, folks. Maybe I don't know. New prototype. Throw up the clickbait thumbnail with Matt's face being extremely shocked. There's no pictures like that that exist of me. I know. It's going to take a lot of Photoshop, but I think we can do it. <laughs> it's going to look completely unnatural, but that's fine. We got to get the clicks. If we don't get the clicks, we don't get the cash. That's the rule. Got to get those clicks. Hey, fist cake. Mm-hmm. After we, after you finish your knife only, uh, yeah, my knife run, battle run here. <laughs> yeah. Should we go rest up at town and uh, give away a code? Sure. I was about, yeah, I was headed that way because I need to get bullets anyways. So I'm just, I think I had to fight this guy, the, the other bug that's going to attack me right after this one. And then we shall go to town and give away a code for people watching in the Chatteroonie. Okay. Can we? I would like to hit you, sir. Sir. Okay. Um. Extra. Extra attacks are nice. Okay. We're getting there. He's on. He's almost done. We're gonna do it. Knife only We're run. Get it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Okay, next one for sure. Uh, next one. This one. Yeah, we did it. Done already. Done already. It's like uh, half hour later. Done uh, already. No, damn it. I forgot about the. No, shit. Yeah, get away from me. I don't know you like that. Oh, no. Knife, knife to meet you, Bjug. Uh, oh, there we go. So it is it's possible that there's like a lot of skill-based gameplay in this because I'm so much better than you, Fistcake. 
Oh yeah, no, no, for sure. I mean, you're better. I mean, every video game. No, no, it's it's true. It's fine. It's it's okay. I just wish you wouldn't blow me up on my stream, but that's fine. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it after after the stream. But I will say you are getting a disciplinary hearing here in a second. So just just so you know. Oh shit! I'm yeah. sorry. It's your second strike, man. You know the rules. <laughs> when I was my first strike. You, well, was it yesterday? Probably. I mean, you've. I mean, if we're being real, you've had numerous strikes. I've just been kind of lenient with you because you know you're a friend, but you work for this company, <laughs> and it, you know. But I can't. People in the office are starting to talk, and you know, I gotta start. You know, coming down, coming down with a hammer. Sorry, man. Spencer has said some very strong words about the whole thing, and I. Uh, oh shit! I said his name. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, sick HR department, dude. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I try. <laughs> I remember my HR day. Oh, I didn't work in HR. I just dealt with HR a lot. Not, not. That seems like that. Not, should, not, that never that, mind. That, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing to just let linger. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. I, I had a lot God of problems damn. with HR. Fuckers. <laughs> what do you mean I can't wear this shirt for for Nationality Day? It's not offensive at all towards towards my culture. No, uh, a long time ago, basically, I had insurance problems because apparently I was supposed to sign a two forms of paper, even though they were the exact same paper, so they could have just copied it. So, you know, I, I learned the jar jargon after hang hanging out with him numerous times. Okay. I didn't kill anybody, so don't, don't be, don't think it's that. All right, let's heal. Uh, we need ammo. But I want to save enough meat for either the Skeeter or the machine gun. What, what do you boys think? What are we thinking? Um, I think I like the machine gun. You like a machine gun? All right. Trevor, what do you think? That's a pretty popular one. I do like uh, taking off an entire, a Grimlin's entire head with the sniper rifle just in one shot. That's pretty satisfying, but... Mm. I unfortunately did not save enough for that, so I uh, I did bad math there. Um, so I guess do it. Machine gun, call me Rambo. Da 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 da. All right, let us switch over here. Um, how do I? I forgot how. I haven't done the giveaway in forever. Let's see. Aha! Probably this giant giveaway button. All right, if you are in the chat. Actually, let me if you in the chat. make a tweet about this because I think Crimson's probably the only one hanging out currently. Let me see. You so we got uh, Christmas shopping done early. <laughs> Thirty Here copies of Out of Gas. Let's go. Here you go, mom. So there Dad. is there is one for everybody. There is four people in the chat or in the in the stream, but I will still make a tweet. Um. Or actually, since you have the official out of gas uh, yeah. Twitter account, would you like to make the tweet? And I'll retweet it and say we uh, stopped the giveaway in like 10 minutes or so. You bet, man. Hell yeah, dude. Just so that that way more people will probably actually that are interested in the thing would see it and be like, oh, yeah, I'm down for that. Hell yeah, brother. Oh. I love the ambient rocking chair noise. Shift kiss. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> now I see the toilet paper. I see this. So this is the poop hole. <laughs> Lower <Very>, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for the Vadi videos of uh oh. Hello, of uh, um, out of gas. Oh, what the hell! I found a secret. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's better at this game now, Matt? You. <laughs> You're right. You found that one thing better than I did. Damn it. <laughs> oh, meat. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, you're now the canonical uh, voice for meat guy. So, here's hoping he doesn't have like a lengthy dialogue. I, w I wanted to hear uh, 
what uh, Gordon would sound like in a refined way. Meat. <laughs> meat. 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 <laughs> Hoity toity. Okay. Hashtags, hashtags, hashtags. Gotta get those hashtags, bro. Giveaway alert. Beep, beep, giveaway alert, watch out. Uh, How do I have a notification? Oh, never mind. The notification from me. Oh my god. A plot twist. All right. Wow, check out this buff tree over here. Wow, we look at the guns on that one. My God, <laughs> am I stealing Matt's bit? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, you know, yeah, it's <laughs> for sure, no doubt. All right, man, the tweet is out. Tweet is out. Let me retweet the tweet. Get a free game now. While supplies last, see store for details. All right, and we shall start the giveaway button. Right, oh, where did it, where did it go? Where did it, oh God, oh geez. I Open think I'll giveaway. Abstain. To abstain? I think I'll abstain. From the giveaway? I mean, this game looks cool and all. Oh, yeah. I, got, I mean, I got a huge stack of games I got to get through, you know. I got a backlog that just keeps piling up. <laughs> Which I, I actually do, but I since my living situation is all weird, I have like Evie's laptop in the evenings and I've been playing uh, American Truck Simulator. So that's what I've been doing to combat my backlog by not combating it at all. Yes, yeah, so listen to Freddie MacGyver type exclamation mark giveaway to get part to become part of the giveaway and possibly win out of gas freddy mcgaver yeah freddy mcgaver uh funny little bot story then he, he's named after a little funny story between evie and i one time we were um we uh we we smoked and watched nightmare on elm street one and we're like halfway through the movie. Like you've seen Freddy Krueger numerous times. He's done like his, you know, I'm killing you in your dreams thing. And Classic I should you not. Freddy, dude. Yeah. He's like, oh, my God. Watch out. I'm going to get you. Freddy's here. Wah. And uh, <laughs> Evie turns to me and she says, what? what's his name again? I'm like, what? She's like, I know it's like Freddy, but like, what's his last name? I can't remember. I'm like, babe, it's Freddy MacGyver. Have you not listened? Like, have you not watched this thing? She's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> and then, like, for 10 minutes, I, I just got her with, like, Freddie MacGyver. And then they said Freddy Krueger on the screen. She's like, you asshole. What the hell? I'm like, yeah, got him. First coat. Oh, hell yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. So that that's my that's my funny my fun uh, nightmare on Elm Street story. If anybody else has any fun nightmare on Elm stories, that'd be. And it has to be those no. stories. I no other stories. Sorry. About a month ago, me and Spencer watched like a nine-hour documentary about for those movies. Ooh. How it was, was very that? Interesting. It was good. Any... A lot of interesting things and they had like a they tried to get the freddy jason thing to happen like a hundred times before it actually <laughs> ended up happening mm -hmm. and what were the jason people were like nah that's no that's no thank you you and i uh i think the like the people the creative people behind the the movies wanted to do it really bad but like they were t part of two separate studios so that's always uh, like a, a nightmare yeah yeah, I remember that like they were trying to do something recent with Friday the Thirteenth, I think, and they uh, came across some problems too. So it feels like it just has a history of that. 
they also had a uh they also really wanted to do uh Freddy vs. Jason versus Ash. Mm. Oh, that'd been cool. Uh, from Pokemon. Oh, and... Pokemon. Oh, plot twist. No. Okay. no. <laughs> uh, Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Ash Ketchum. But... <laughs> of course. My wife is super into the Elm Street movies, and I enjoy the Friday movies. Granted, they're all awesome, so we have a mix of both. Ooh, a mixed household, huh? Do you... So... Have you both come to an agreement as to who would win Freddy versus Jason? Because I'm I'm curious to know in a household that have two different fan bases, how that worked out, or if they just want to like go the whole movie route and everybody won, yay! Because they got they got to keep the franchises alive, even though both characters have died numerous times, so it wouldn't matter if somebody died, but you know. Whatever. That, that's my hot movie take on the on the film industry. So, uh, you know, no, sorry if it's a little spicy for y'all. Him, I know. You know, I know. I, I You know, I don't mean to be such an asshole, but somebody's got to say New these line things. is like, oh, damn, he got us. Man, they're like, oh, shit. Well, I guess we got to make another one where one of them dies. My God. I think we'd both say Freddy, aside from him being a better developed character, I think he just has more abilities. Well, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, mystery solved. I'm sorry, Trevor, you're about to say something. I was going to say, it makes me think of all the, like, Overwatch and League of Legends videos and stuff where they always have the characters fighting, but in those ones, no one ever dies. Mm-hmm. Right? They're always just, like, one-upping each other, but then... Yeah, they like hey, 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 they get away at the last so no 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 one's offended i guess mm. <laughs> yeah no, yeah like no one has to see yeah no one has cinematics. to see their main die that's also like another thing like we're they're like mortal enemies but they're on the same team like oh reaper i can't believe we're fighting <laughs> together he's like yep gotta push the payload and he's like yeah i guess you're right and they push the payload or defend the payload sometimes both who knows <laughs> Oh, Overwatch. I I can't play team based games anymore. It's just there's too much pressure in that. Not even like you going into there playing the game. It's like from other people like, hey, why aren't you doing this right? And I don't I don't know. I just wanted to play a game, dude. I'm gonna didn't. go play a single player game where the only person that judges me is me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> only I can yell at me for fucking up the whole thing. That's the that's the thing. I'm abstaining from the giveaway as well. I own it and stuff it. It would just turn into a gift for someone else. Cool to see more people will be able to try it, though. Well, thank you for abstaining, Crimson. No, very no, noble, Crimson. Very noble. Appreciate it. Oh, it's an eight-minute timer. Whoops. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just... Uh, oops. Okay, hold on. Close, close that. How do I change the timer? Uh-oh. Okay. Crimson, have you found all the... Uh secret weapons yet one of them is uh really hard so hmm. how many secret weapons are there there are six in total six hmm hmm how what's the math hmm. on that there's only four areas, but six weapons. I don't. What the hell? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh hey, Kimo, enter the giveaway. Hello, Kimo. Are you interested in ye old out of gas? That's the full title, Kimo. by the way. Ye old, ye old out of gas. It's coming back, dude. Old English. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's. it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's making the, it's the, the big splash. <laughs> this just in. Use old English. Ye old out of whale oil. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, God, I can't go anywhere. Am I an old timey version of a old timey version of a boat? Oh. No, damn it. Not again. <laughs> I was trying to wave dash you or whatever. I don't know. Melee melee terms. I am fed up of being in gas. Figured I should try being out of gas. You know what? Dude, this 
you're Kimo in, knows where it's at. Yeah, you're in for a treat, my friend, because uh, out of gas is the way to be. We just witnessed a critical life decision being made, I believe. We were here to witness it. If anything, we it's also encourage it. to righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the path, brother. The path of out of gas. Right, so right when, when out of gas launched was when the uh, the whole virus thing had been spinning up for a couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. the gas prices were super low. <laughs> so people were making <laughs> jokes about, oh. <laughs> about the timing of that. How can you run out of gas? It's so cheap. I can't predict the future. Stop yelling at me, okay? I didn't know. God. <laughs> now, the problem is there's everybody's buying gas, and now there won't be any gas. It, it's going to, you know, it's going to go back up. It, it's fine. It all works it's out in the, the end. It's the toilet paper situation. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, there were a lot of out of TP jokes being made. <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of the sequel's name. That's not funny, okay? That's not. It's a whole trilogy. It's out of gas, out of out of toilet paper, then out of masks. It's it's it, it comes full circle. All right, the giveaway is about to end, and ding ding ding, we got a winner. Um, you know what? I had to pick from my list here. Uh, you know what? I think it's gonna be. Oh. No, oh, no. Okay. Well, I I will. Uh, never mind. I, apparently, apparently there's some extra thing to make that uh, command work. But congratulations, Chemo. Chemo, you won. GG. You won out of gas. And if you have any questions for the developer, we got him right here. It's Trevor. Yeah. Where the fudge? There we go. Okay, and I will whisper you the code because if I put it on the chat, the bots will snag it up. Because bots are evil. I'm so excited to finally be out of gas. Hope Hell you yeah, enjoy dude. it, Chemo. Hell yeah. Let me get to the channel. What the hell? Channel, please. Oh, God. How do I message somebody on the thing? Here we go. Oh, Bowie. There is your code. Copy that into yes. your Steam library, and then you get a game. Congratulations. You're going to go if far, you enjoy kid. it, Chemo, you can let all your friends know, your family, your pets too, that Out of Gas is on sale right now. 33% off until, I think, July 9th. Oh, just when the Steam sale ends? Yeah. That, Big old that's... Steam sale going on. Pale year. Um... Cool. Let's play a little bit more than maybe here, like at what would it be your guys' time? Two forty-five or so. We'll do another one and call it a day. Sounds good, man. So, Matt, I want to ask you a question. Uh -oh. After you shoot, if after you finished Act One, what were you said you liked the machine gun? But what was your after you played a full act? What were your favorite weapons or? and or passive items and um i like the the shotgun definitely the upgraded knife i like a lot um and what else did we use i think that's i mean that carried us for a while mm -hmm. i think um, we're now finally exploring other weapons as we're in act two but it's Act one was really mostly uh, machine guns and shotguns and knifing, critical knifing basically. <laughs> and then I used the the the, oh, the pustula thing that shoots like the acid. I used that mm. for a long time. I think I just recently changed it, but I I really like that one. Kind of like some passive damage. Yeah. Gotta love me some passive damage. Damn it. Dang it! These wings are too fast. Yeah, I noticed that in playtesting, when people would progress to Act Two, they would they would see all the new stuff that was out there, but they would 
they would s feel comfortable, like maybe bringing one weapon in, new weapon in, but then sticking with the knife, shotgun, pistol, or machine gun combo because it just they liked it so much. Hmm. It feels safe and warm. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's a little. Yeah, you get attached to like your upgrades and stuff. You're like that. You're like, well, wow, this, this kind of like it sounds really cool, but I know what this one does. Right. <laughs> one of my design goals was to make it so that all the weapons are viable through the whole game, so you don't have to. I I I don't like. In in some in some games it makes sense like loot games, but I don't mm. like getting attached to something or liking the way something works and then having to give it up because it's not as you know it won't it won't do you any good in yeah in hell <laughs> not in hell no oh god <laughs> oh jeez. i want to use my icicle dagger though i can't use that in hell <laughs> what the hell <laughs> oh wait shit damn it oh no i forgot the, the the machine gun doesn't quite break the armor right off the get-go Gotta open them up with some yeah, shotgun blasts. Like for good, good, like, just area damage. Which actually, we could do this. Oh, this one has three. I didn't really notice that before. That's cool. Well, that's fun. Did you just take a peek at that? Where are we? So you mentioned uh, playing Bloodborne. What's your What's your tier list for Souls games? <laughs> okay, so I've I haven't played Dark Souls two, and oh, I it's, haven't. It's awful. I, that's what I've heard. <laughs> it's <I> so. <laughs> it's bad. We all played through it. Uh, what like a year, year and a half ago, mm, maybe yeah, two. It was a year ago. Uh, me, Spencer, Fizzcake, and our other friend uh, Coulter, and it it's like at first you're like, oh, this isn't this isn't that bad. And then it just it just gets worse and worse. Oof. Can you sum it up like succinctly why it gets so bad, or is it more like hard to pin down? It's I don't know. It doesn't feel fluid like the other Souls games, and like it seems like they overcomplicated a bunch of stuff um, that didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Like there's even like a stat that controls how fast you drink your Estus. <laughs> um, Wow. And I mean, they introduced some cool things like the power stancing and, you know, mm -hmm. making dual wielding actually possible, like a, a viable strat. But other than that, uh, like, it's just, uh, eh, it's not good. <laughs> so, yeah, I came to the, the whole Souls series or genre late, too. I, uh, when I got my PS4, I got Bloodborne. And that's the first game I played. So that's got a special spot in my heart. And I, I went back. I, I tried Dark Souls 3 and just ran out of gas. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. <laughs> and then uh, I picked up Dark Souls Remastered. And I've been. <laughs> I, I got pretty far in that. And then I got to an area in the catacombs that. I had to put it down for a while because I <laughs> it was a bit frustrating, and then uh, I played Sekiro, so I think that oh. my my list would be no yeah. pressure, but the entire Dark no Souls pressure. fan community will destroy you if you're incorrect. Yep, <laughs> always listen. So, man, that's hard. I'd say I, I think Bloodborne is probably my number one because of the lore. It's more digestible than what I, the lore I found in Di, uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, and, I agree. Yeah, and it's deeper than Sekiro. Sekiro was like super beautiful, and like I really liked the uh, Eastern, the Japanese mythology was so cool, and uh, yeah. I really liked the, the the levels and the the different worlds and enemies, and uh, it just felt kind of shorter in a way Sekiro did like I went through it a lot faster than Bloodborne mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah that's fair I think but uh, so it'll probably be Bloodborne Sekiro Dark Souls of the three that I've
finished or almost finished. How about you, Matt? Um, I would definitely say Bloodborne. Number one, is my Code favorite. Vein. <laughs> <laughs> Code Vein is fine. Hmm. Uh, but uh, fine. yeah, definitely Bloodborne, then Sekiro, Dark Souls 3, uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and then, I don't know. I can't think of any other games in this whole series that I would put on the list. He says, sarcastically, ignoring Dark Souls 2. <laughs> ah, there it is. I was like, where's the joke? Where's the joke? I know there's a joke somewhere in there. I, I see. <laughs> but yeah, Bloodborne, I don't know. Bloodborne, I love. Me and Spencer are big fans of uh, Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. Anything Lovecraft is is good. Victorian era, also great. Uh, and just the aggressiveness that you can be in, in Bloodborne is really, it's only matched by Sigaro. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just, and I love like the trick weapons. I'm like a threaded cane boy all the way. The trick yeah. weapons are very, very cool. I like that. I need to get some healing items. Oh, jeez. Um... Yeah, let's get a rifle to show that off too. Why not? We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. Some of that. Some health. Health never hurts anybody. If anything, it helps them. All right. Cool beans. Yeah, kind of like you, Trevor. I'm not a traditional, uh, like, getting to the Dark Souls thing. I played one by myself. I played two with the boys. And I don't... I didn't have a problem with it because I was mostly just being told like, Hey, let's go do this. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And, uh, do all that stuff. So I didn't really see the problem with it, but maybe if I played it by myself, I could like actually die, like, uh, figure out what people were complaining about. But, um, yeah, I think what makes like, if you start with dark souls too, it's not bad. Hmm. Uh, I think compared to if you played like, and really enjoyed like the other Dark Souls games and Bloodborne, all the faults become a lot more apparent. Right. Yeah. I mean I enjoy oh 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 boy, hold on. Let me no, I can't run from you. Sorry. Great. I have to kill again. After I erase the face. Erase the face. After I swore to my sensei I would never kill again. Here I am. Killing again. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh yeah, Crimson Salt and Sanctuary is also very cool. Being cool to play through that. I think at release when it when it came out a while ago. I've heard about that. I, I haven't uh, actually even looked into it. I need to check it out sometime. Um, Sekiro is also really good. Like that was like the one game I was excited to. You know, I'm gonna 100% this Dark Souls game because it's easy. To, well, not easy, but it's you know quicker to do, and it's, I really enjoy it. And I just kind of got bored. Right. Or, stopped through my second or third playthrough who followed who was it which one of you did it who's the monster what did i miss oh boy you followed oh crimson thank crimson. you for the follow i appreciate it cool very cool i'm the monster i am the monster <laughs> <laughs> it's you crimson how could you do this to me i appreciate the follow my dude or yeah i i, I say my dude in a general gender Way I don't mean it in either way. It's a way. gender neutral. Yeah, there we go. That's probably the more it's a big tent that phrase. Yeah, <laughs> just a the big tent. But um, yeah, no, I just uh, yeah, I need to play through Dark Souls three at some point, and I need to probably play Dark Souls two on my own at some point. I've heard they've come out with some cool mods for it called like Daughters of Ash or something for the third one. I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah. I think after through after Doom Eternal, I might do a Dark Souls run because I was I was feeling the Dark Souls itch the other day, the little Dark Souls earworm. Scene. Yes, it's it's one of those itches where you're like something's creeping up. <laughs> oh God! Oh, it's time for me to punish myself for thirty plus hours again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it, it would be easier and quicker just to whip myself in the back with like the Cat of Nine Tails, but I mean, frankly, why would I do that when I could just play Dark Souls? You know. <laughs> Okay. Let's clean up. I'm gonna switch to oh yeah, this brand new rifle we just bought. Okay, all right. Left eye, right. Oh no, <laughs> he dodged it. The absolute mad lad. He dodged Ooh. it again. 
Man, that's uh, that took a chunk out. Took out half his brain. Now he's still standing. That's uh, he's got some chops. He's got some grit. He should be the new guy for Old Spice. <laughs> so you're you're showing a lot of cool stuff on uh, Twitter, Trevor. Is there anything that in the game that you wanted to put in but then just decided it needed to be cut or same yeah. stuff for a sequel or cause I, the the rat area that was cool. Mm -hmm. I love all that behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, cool, uh, yeah. Man. Behind the scenes is always fun. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Glad you like that. I I love that that kind of stuff. I love hearing about games and I have all mm -hmm. those Souls games that I've I played. I have the collector's edition guide because I want to know all the the stuff I missed and mm -hmm. those oh. games are so deep that I. I just, I, yeah, I love all that that behind the scenes stuff and learning that little bits of information. So, um, yeah, so that the the rat monster and the sewer uh, act. There was that fifth. I had planned a fifth act. Um, you know, I just casually thrown out the, the the order of the different acts, and there was a fifth act. It was a sewer between what are three and four now, the mountain and the refinery. Now. But uh, after a while, I just I could see how. Once I got good at adding monsters, and implementing new tile sets and levels and stuff like that, I was like, okay, I have to cut down something. So I cut out that fifth act. Um, one uh, thing I originally had planned was uh, like different ammo types, mm -hmm. and uh, you know resistances and uh, things that that would uh, you know in, in uh, increase the amount of strategy that the player could could bring to bear in a fight. Mm -hmm. um, but just for simplicity's sake and for finishing, I dropped a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I can see that being like a, a like yeah, just I think an absolute ammo type would fit in perfect. Mm -hmm. Ammo type would be really cool. I, I also can see like just getting rid of stuff that you think is going to be so good, like probably one of the hardest things to do, because mm -hmm. I. I don't know the type like, but I want it all in there because it's all good and none of it can be bad because it's it's perfect. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think ammo type would have been really cool, but um, you have like what two or th well, I guess ammos for different weapon. Like you have like three different ammo kinds, I guess. Right categories. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Which I know because so I looked down here and saw. I know I knew the energy one. I, I from when we played, and then I noticed this guy over here. Whatever this guy is, I'm excited Purple. to see. <laughs> Purple, my favorite type of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's really hard to to drop things like my my creative. More like, hey, let's throw in as much as we can side of my brain. Like mm -hmm. that really thrived at the beginning of the development process, and then the. The other side, the engineering, like the pra more practical, like, do you ever want to finish this game, <laughs> Trevor? That mm. side of my brain was it start that started to win out more and more mm. as time as time went on, and uh, so it got easier to cut stuff because it was like, if I don't cut this, it's gonna I'm gonna break myself in the games. I'm gonna have to push the game again, mm. delay it again, and it's funny how that works. So how long did it take you from like like writing down the the concept on paper to send releasing it on Steam? Was it like uh, four years or so, or three or what? I can't remember. It's just over three. Three, okay. Yeah, just over three. Cool. Until it from when I started working, sat down and started brushing up on Game Maker and making the prototype to when I released it on Steam. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, that's pretty good for a. Uh, solo developer thanks man mm. yeah yeah thank you i uh have a loving and supportive most excellent wife <laughs> that uh is totally on board with this chasing this dream and um yeah man, man. it was a long it was a long journey i bet <laughs> but yeah I, i'm sure having a good support system like that would definitely help out because i'm sure they're yeah. like i mean with everything creative that people do that you uh, have your bad days and your good days. And I'm sure some days were like, I don't, 
is this even going to be worth it? Am I going to, you know, is this going to pan out at all? Do you, right. Did you have like those thoughts at all? Definitely had a lot yeah. of that. Um, and that came when uh, I shifted toward marketing the game. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's a, a theme in creative people. I'm not sure, but at least in myself, you know, I, it's really hard to sell, sell the work. Like a lot of the, my yeah. energy goes into making the thing mm. and I tailor it and I put all this love yeah. and energy into it. And there's that, you know, there's that misconception of just like, oh, let's just go out and propagate and, you know, on its own, it, it'll just attract people's attention. Mm. Like that is, could be further from the truth because just realizing how much stuff is out there vying for people's attention is just insane. Oh yeah, Steam like Greenlight or Workshop or what or not Workshop or whatever it is now. There's like what thousands of games being released on there every every day, and like maybe like one or two of those are actually generally good and not, not like shovelware. Yeah, <laughs> also <laughs> not a hentai. <laughs> hentai clicker puzzle number thirty five. <laughs> when I was looking for Steam curators, I mm. I, I noticed that a lot. Just no, just seeing all the different types of things that people review, it got, I got, from a little more familiar with all the depth of content that's on Steam. <laughs> did simply. you, did you ever think for marketing purpose of about just changing Jack to like a kawaii <laughs> anime girl? <laughs> did that just talk, just that just talks in a badass voice? <laughs> like no, Dude, you put I as love a that idea. <laughs> just the skin, new skin. Kawaii Jack. <laughs> New voice pack. Kawaii Jack. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be really good. <laughs> right um, sound out. No. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's joke, question mark. Oh, um, But, yeah, no, I, I mean, I imagine, yeah, it's just a pain in the butt to get anything going these days. I think you do a good job, though, of, like, I, I've never really seen a developer kind of like go as hard out to see content of their game like you. Um, yeah, think. I think that's. I mean, that was pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I say I'm a lot, so I'm like, uh, do I? Is that the end? Or do I have more? No. Okay. Yeah, it was super cool to to get in touch and do all that stuff. Hmm. See, I'm, I'm used to, like, Thanks. dunking onto the... Well, not dunking all the time, but, like, you know, I like my playful jokes on the developer or whatever. And uh, I was doing that with this one, too. I was just like, ah, this is what we call an incorrect game design choice. <laughs> and then, like, you would comment on, like, Twitter and stuff. I'm like, oh, wait, no. he's a, They're actually people. This one, this guy's actually paying attention. I can't I can't just dunk on an invisible person. Whoops. That's all right. right. <laughs> So don't don't take yeah. it personally. Whatever I said in the videos, oh, I, yeah. it was just it was just all in, in fun. But uh, you're yeah. all good, we used to man. Do a, a, a show call into the veil where we played a bunch of bad, kind of bad games. Mm -hmm. So we had very used I think, to dunking on. Yeah, I was about to say that. I'm, I think that's what it came from. Was just like, oh, this game's so stupid, it doesn't know how to do math, or you know, <laughs> or this game's so stupid that was Fist Cake's last joke. Hey, oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Got him. No, it's all it's all good, man. No, okay. I, I really like your guys' content too. Um, I really oh, thanks. appreciate the stuff that you're putting out. Um, the attention you're showing out of gas and just hearing all your guys' perspective on it and mm -hmm. the jokes that you make and, and the, the friendship that you guys have is really fun to watch. And also whoa, the other whoa, stuff whoa, too, whoa, whoa. watching your other Did you oh, say friendship? Far? No, this it's a working Total relationship. Goodness. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? It's a partnership and nothing. Yeah. <laughs> There's no oh, emotions in this. Teller. Right. Oh, they're they're just working relation. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So is Adam Savage and the other the Walrus looking guy, Mythbusters. They don't hang out. In oh right. Oh huh. The Walrus guy. <laughs> yeah, Jamie or Jamie? whatever his name is. Yeah. Jamie, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jamie Walrus. That's his real name. Well, that, I mean, yeah. I mean, I imagine there has to be a few of those out there, but, you know. It's just always sad to hear about it when it's your favorite people, you know? Like, like Penn and Teller. No. Close to a, a mini boss, this cake. Are we? Yes. Let me turn on my radar and, um, which way is the mini boss at? Well, <laughs> which way? 
Just just um, hot or cold. To, uh, hot cold. Hot now. I'm hot cold, and cold. Cold now. Hot oh. now. Oh, cold wait. now. Oh hot yeah, there's now. a delay. The delay may be totally thrown us off. Yeah, never mind. Just go toward your, go toward your cursor. My cursor. Okay. Oh. How would I reach this cursor? Haha. -ha. And then over further. Yep. Down here. We are done. Uh -oh. Totally safe in this direction. Nothing okay, good. I like barrel. safety. I like safety. Ah! Oh. Man. No, he got me. Oh well. Oh, hey, hey, fist kick. Mm -hmm. Would you mind turning on the fast combat option so we can show that off? Oh sure. Settings. Bading. I was gonna actually, yeah, I forgot to bring that up. I was curious as to see what this would look like. Yeah, try it out. Let, let me know what you guys think. Well, I still miss a lot, so I don't know how much I like it. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> My RNG. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah, when you're fighting the guys for the yeah the for the at least the you know third or fourth time, that's uh, that's very handy. I do enjoy that. Very good quality of life update. I, I very good. QOLs. Hey. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom. Bada binga. Yeah, I should probably I save my ammo for like the. All, uh, I could have been like uh, artsy fartsy and been like, no, you must fight all the monsters at the pace I dictate. <laughs> you don't understand. It's my master's thesis. Master's thesis? No, master. Whatever. I'm out. Here. <laughs> my master had a thesis. Don't I'm ask any low, other questions. Low on the banter juice. Oh no, <laughs> I'm running out of banter, my banter gas. Juice. <laughs> oh god, no. Why did it have to be like this? Oh my god. Need an infusion. <laughs> Somebody, please. More banter Dude, juice. You, you get out of combat so fast. The, the death saying barely has enough time to show up. Oh, do I, do I mash through it? I'm sorry. I, uh... No, no, it does that automatically when you're on uh, fast combat. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, uh, ah, there we go. Oh. Grimeling King. Oh my god, he's huge. He must be royalty. Let's, uh... Let's, I like uh, how, let's... like, the other gremlins, they kind of look kind of cute. This guy mm. looks fucking badass. It, it, uh... <laughs> he's like, I'm angry. I'm very angry. Yes. All right. Okay. Obviously, going for the sixty-nine percent because it's just as good as a hundred. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Let's try to blow up an ear. There we go. Ah, yes. The damage. Oh. Oh, and I'm getting angry. Oh. Oh, I'm so angry. Hmm. Let's see. The aim bonus would help. Do I have healing items still? Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're going to try to aim a little bit better. And aim a little bit better. Oof. Oh, oh that was a grenade. Whoops. That was, uh, <laughs> I mean, that was tactical. I meant to do that. <laughs> Definitely didn't mean to. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. Oh, he's angry. He's so angry. But yeah, when I we like fought that the episode oh, where you guys stripped off of Grimlin's face and his eyeballs were just like <laughs> just bloodshot and just like ah, <laughs> you zoomed in on it. That was pretty good. I'm I'm a big fan of zooming in on 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 things, either like a very slow zoom or just a random out of nowhere zoom when we're talking about something mm -hmm. specific. I think I saw that from like uh, the continue guys on YouTube or whatever. Ah, oh yeah, I can't see now. Whoops. Uh oh, oh jeez. Uh, use the force, Luke. It's kind of working. I am quickly running out of ammo, though. I should probably start doing more than just wildly shooting. Yeah, sorry, shooting. I forced you down this path. No, it's <laughs> no, it's fine. I just I forgot that I need to need to put it into third gear here. Figure it. We're on strategic reason, Jeff. All right, so he's halfway down. I'm assuming that's his heart right in the middle or some kind of object. 
It's just a lot. It's got a lot of veins and a lot of mass. I don't know. That's a qu quick side note example. Something that I wanted to put in, but I had to cut was uh, I wanted to make hearts beat. Uh, oh, that would have been cool. Hmm. I can still do it. I just it's on the list, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I imagine it's a pain in the butt to do it. Gremlin Anatomy 101. A lot of veins, a lot of mass. <laughs> Good to know. And now we know. Well, he's so jacked. Well, that's true. I guess that makes, yeah. He needs all that extra mass and veins. He kind of does have that, like, come at me pose. Mm -hmm. Come at me, brother. All right. Maybe, well, I'm running out of ammo, so I need to, like, <laughs> I might have. I might have messed up here, but let's let's see. We'll just keep hacking. At the very least, we can affect some of his stats. Definitely going to use that heal this time. Definitely going to use this heal this time. Uh, save the bullets for a case where we think we're about to finish him off. Oh, boy. So do you have any like indie game developer heroes well oh, yeah. i watched indie game the movie probably like four or five times it's so good it is really good man is that, that was like a touchstone in a way hmm. for me during development i'd go back to that and watch it like at least once a year so seeing um edmund and Jonathan Blow and all those guys do it, you know, what I was, you know, they had accomplished it, what I was chasing after mm -hmm. was really, was really cool. And just that entrepreneurial spirit is just so, it's just really inspiring, man. I have a um, book of, it's called Masters of Doom. It's about the id guys, mm -hmm. the two Johns. And I've, I've read that a bunch of times because it's just something about just that indie spirit is just really, really cool and exciting. So yeah, I think I've yeah seen that like a, a long, long time ago, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I just kind of followed Ed McMillan and the guy who made Fez or whatever, right? Phil Fish. Phil Fish, yeah. that's right. Yeah. I remember him being like, I can't remember if he was an antagonist or what. I don't know. I, re I just remember him being painted in like a weird light. Like, uh, yeah, this is what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, he like. was he was eccentric. Yes. Is that the word? <laughs> okay. Well, I might be able to knife this guy to death. Let's find out. Yeah. Thank. Thankfully, he has no accuracy anymore. Lost it all in the war. Nope, he found some. Never mind. Oh no! Oh, well, that's all right. We're trying to show people the whole package. Yeah, this is what happens when you die. <laughs> Let's see where the auto save takes us. All right, down here. Okay, not too far. Not too bad. Um, actually, yeah, the auto save system is is very nice. Hmm. We'll actually head on back here and do one more giveaway, I think, and then. Maybe do a little, uh, quick Q and A session. You know, head on out. Sweet. Yeah, some people just ride through, like half the game on the autosave. That's very bold. They that's... don't. They don't <laughs> save because I, I don't think they think. Cause hmm. I think that's something that like modern games have, uh, you know, inculcated is that you always have an autosave that's holding your hand and backing, you know, backing things up for you. Be free yeah. to fail. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, I come from the era of, uh, you know, your PlayStation 2 won't say, read that uh, save data anymore because question mark. So I'm just used to like cycling, save, saving, Dude, all that stuff. Me too, man. Me too. <laughs> I've had too many painful losses to not save it. All right. The man over here, he just overwrites the same save file over and over again like a lunatic. Okay, I never had that experience, so I haven't learned it the hard way. <laughs> I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying. 
kids these I days. I will say, <laughs> the save system in uh, The Last of Us 2 is probably one of the worst save systems I've ever seen. Really? It's like, it puts you, yeah, it puts you back. It loads your auto save. It doesn't mm -hmm. load the most recent save. So, uh, me and Spencer left like a important item back there. So I had to load my load my real save, and that mm -hmm. still didn't give me the item back. And it oh, turns wow. out it like saves in like weird, um, like instances, I guess, mm -hmm. where like it knows that you saved it, so it saves like oh you picked up this like trading card thing or you this notepad, but it doesn't save like the items. Hmm. It was really weird. Yeah. Maybe that's just a game design choice. It's a bad one. <laughs> Where Come on. Just like, because we we played for like thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and I was like, I don't have my, I don't, I don't have my second holster. What the hell? Oh, that's um, yeah. Another holster sounds really important. So yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, was, oh. it was weird. <laughs> um. Hell yeah. Okay, it low key messes with me when there isn't any save slots. Yeah, right. It's just like, no, don't worry, we got it. I'm like, but do you? You can't be trusted. I don't know for mm. sure. Bioshock Infinite does that where it doesn't say you can't save manually. Oh, really? You have to, it saves checkpoints. Yeah, and that's really annoying. That's brutal. All right, um, let us start a, another giveaway here. If you want to make another tweet, Trevor. More tweetage. And then I will retweet the tweet, and then Matt will look at the tweet, and then we will tweet, and then we will. You know. I did a tweet. I I'm, I was just I just wanted to say tweet thirty thousand times. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I love I love saying the same word thirty times over and over just to just to see if it actually ever stops becoming a word. Yeah, humans are weird, man. Right. <laughs> I have the same problem with like saying out of gas or making the original out of gas tweet for today. I'm like, oh, check out out of gas here, out of gas at out of gas games, out of gas. I'm like, is out of is out of a word anymore? I don't. I know it is. I just I I'm not for sure now. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh geez. Um. All right. I'm trying to think of some questions for you. I, I had a few, but then I forgot to write them down in between me thinking about them and coming over here and starting uh, the stream. Um, is there any fun facts that you think people would find interesting about the game? Um, I guess, I guess besides co content, since Mattery asked about that. Right. Fun facts. Um, let me finish this tweet here. Um, let me think of a question to ask. Um, let's see. What is, um, who inspired the the uh, cuddles? I guess there we go. Let's just <laughs> let's start with that guy. That's a great question. So, oh, so actually, I, Crimson uh, also has a question too after this. But all right. Oh, cool. So, the so one of the the humor big humor influences on my this game was uh, well the Tim Schafer games mm -hmm. so like Monkey Island and Grim Fandango Full Throttle stuff like that. So in, in at the beginning of uh, I'm not sure if I act exactly modeled him af after this guy in the first Monkey Island, but he probably is just somewhere in my brain waiting to get out in another form. Wow. There's when you walk in and you're like, I'm Guybrush Sleepwood, ready to be a pirate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's this crabby, like, uh, Outlook guy who I think has a patch over his eye. I'm not sure. But uh, I think he that, that guy kind of inspired in one way or another, indirectly or directly, cuddles. Gotcha. Oh, shoot. I mean, I start all over this again. Whoops. Um, yeah, that's, that's like, I don't know, I can't get into uh, um, point and click games anymore. I. Me and my friend Adam did a playthrough of a uh, Day of the Tentacle, and oh, yeah. it, like the 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 um 
the concept and like all the dialogue and everything that's a lot of fun you know i really enjoyed that part of it but if we didn't have like a walkthrough mm-hmm. we would have never ever been able to get through that game in any amount any reasonable amount of time <laughs> it's just right so complex like no you're supposed to do this and then that not not that and then this yeah so, but yeah. but i did i did one of the things i didn't even get a hint come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think oh, yeah. like increased play time they made it so that things were oh that's time, true there were some obtuse solutions hmm. and i forgot uh, that was yeah back in the day yeah back, back in the in... day when you had to like order a hint guide hmm. <laughs> So they could push, yeah, they had to like make everything up to, it's like, uh, didn't they make the, they made like a lot of Nintendo games in the U.S. a lot harder too than their original parts in uh, Japan, if I remember correctly too. That's right, because of rental stores. Mm. The way one game, Resident Evil, which is also another big influence on me, that the first one I think they made a lot more difficult because of, of mm. rentals, I believe. Nah, that makes sense. <laughs> Dang blockbuster ruining the video games industry. Dang. Oh, not anymore. Oh, uh, no, that's a name I haven't heard in many years. <laughs> I don't go by that name anymore. I go by GameFly, a service that everybody totally uses. <laughs> um, what was I going? Oh, yeah. Crimson asked a question. They ask. Did you, by chance, draw any design choices on the world from Full Throttle? I kind of was thrown in that world as an influence. Oh, wait. I was kind of thrown in that world as in an influence, and then I stepped into in this one. Right. Good question. So I, I didn't play Full Throttle, but I watched a Let's Play of it. And I think that Tim Schafer, he's a, he's a metalhead, and he's also like a gearhead guy, too. So Man. a lot of that same uh, kind of outrageous, you know, chrome pipes and flames coming out and <laughs> roaring engines. He also had a lot of that in Grim Fandango and that Brutal Legend as well. Oh, Brutal Legend. That's, I need uh, to play that. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you should play. I don't know. Yeah. It, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about Brutal Legend. I like the, the idea behind it. I just was never a fan of that... Uh, what, they had like that weird tower defense mode or not tower defense yeah. it's just some the weird RTS, RTS portion right yeah. yeah it was just really hard to like I couldn't like I got to like the last boss and the only reason why I couldn't beat it was because it was an RTS thing where you had to like do strategy stuff while driving your car into something and the, you know the dragon was already kind of like eh. so it was just like a whole thing <laughs> mm-hmm. but um yeah I, I, I really the only times I enjoy clicking it click a uh, point and click adventure games now is by watching let's plays of them because it's i think that's the proper way to digest them now that's yeah. in my humble gaming opinion <laughs> have somebody else go through all the pain and hard work <laughs> but um yeah i haven't seen i i've heard of full throttle i've i've heard that i think it got like remastered a few years ago or something or like at least remade right or no remastered probably um so I might have to check that out. See, see if I can catch these vibes that Crimson's getting. Oh, and they also say there's still a blockbuster left. They actually call it the last one as well. <laughs> the last blockbuster. Yeah. I think it's in like Alaska or something, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I would imagine. I mean, if anybody would have the last blockbuster, where else could it be? Right. <laughs> <laughs> how how else are they gonna get their movies? They don't have internet All in Alaska. Eighteen people. <laughs> no, now they're up to twenty-five. Matt, do not, do not diminish the Alaskan people. Okay, there's at least twenty-five people living up. I'm gonna offend twenty-five people. <laughs> True. Yeah. I mean, that could be my entire our entire demographic. You don't know that. It could just be nothing but Alaskans. That's true. We don't yeah, know where I they come from. Them. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what was, what's your favorite game of all time? This is a hard question. That is a very hard question. That's, that's unfair, Matt. <laughs> uh, go top three. We'll make it easier for you. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Top three. Rank them. Oh, man. Um, Any order. Any order. Yeah, there we go. Even easier. Well, 
I think I'm going to have to say in like the nostalgic zone and like influencing my childhood was uh, Link to the Past. Mm. I was really enamored with Classic. that game and the art design and quest design and the mystery of it. And that mm -hmm. influenced me a lot with uh, game dev. I think the best really the manuals for my, I never, I, in my didn't, house, we couldn't, we didn't have a Nintendo. So I'd like, I take home the manuals from my friends. I'm like, can I borrow the manual? And I'm like, sure, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And I go home and I'd copy <laughs> out the, I'd freehand copy the, uh, all the drawings of Link and stuff. And, yeah, because those, yeah, if I remember, Link to the Past had the cool manual, where, like it had that uh, art and like the story behind that leads up to the game. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like it tells you like what's happening all the way up to where you wake up as Link, right. or something like that. Yeah, it, my aunt had a comic in um, Nintendo Power, and that was cool uh, stuff, man. Yeah, my aunt had a Nintendo, and she got that, and I couldn't, I could never read. I, I was at the age where I didn't know how to read. So I'd always ask her to like, hey, what's this guy saying? She's like, he's saying the same thing he said 30 times already. I don't. Please stop asking me these questions. All right. So Link to the Past is one of them. Two right. more. And um, I think I can say the Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time. Just the way I, I, I keep coming back to it. And I'm still impressed by the, the depth of it and the mystery of it. It's like... Um, in my mind, it's like the the way games. I, I I just love how it delivers the the lore and the mystery, and there's so much depth there. Even now, you know, man, years and years later, people are still finding cool stuff that wasn't used. And I will and say then, they kind of uh, did a a very good job of my per, that is like my preferred way of like lore is like you have to go out and find it if you actually care enough about it. You can get like right. glimpses of it as you play through the main game and, and stuff, but if you actually want to know what's going on, you have to go do these side things or go read an item description or two or five or whatever. Yeah, I think it's a really yeah, good man. way of I mean, delivering it's, that. Inc it's incredible in those games how even the item descriptions have little intriguing hmm. lore and just like three sentences they can evoke a lot of cool imagery. And I, I liked how the game. I think I started playing it at least a year after it had already come out, but the way they like uh, crowdsource out the just figuring out what's going on, like all the people, everybody's like scouring the game and trying to find different stuff and piecing things together as a community. I thought that was a really cool aspect of the game that I was excluded from, <laughs> but I thought it was pretty cool still. Um. And then, uh, oh man, how am I doing so far, Matt? Is it pretty? Oh, it's you're good. not judging me too hard, are you? Oh no, I just you, you're lucky up there for me as well. Kids. I was about to say you, you you're lucky that you threw in Bloodborne. Otherwise, Matt was going to kill you. I mean, that was just <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. I I saw him get the gun from here. We're completely in two different states. I could just oh, feel that's the you gun standing outside my house, man. Oh. <laughs> you better say Bloodborne, you son of a bitch, or I swear to God. <laughs> Next one is Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> Don't now, come on, be realistic here. <laughs> I think that the, my third would be the original Resident Evil. Ooh, there you go. That's that fun. one was another one that just hit at the, like the right time in my childhood growing up it just just stuck with me and i draw you know i try to i draw stuff i think i rate games and how long they stay alive in my mind and, and like influence me to you know, like draw stuff or look up more information about it mm -hmm. yeah. those are my i three. i enjoy watching those old resident i mean i think at some point i'll try them out but um i was way too young when i when resident evil came out and i Never thought about to like go back and play them, but um, I enjoy watching people play through them, and I also enjoy playing the newer ones because it's kind of like a not a what, what, what they kind of like redo the story just a little bit, just like for like a new canonical thing. So it, it, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. I, I enjoy I enjoy the Resident Evil series as a whole. I will. <laughs> my favorite thing about the whole Resident Evil series is a DLC for number seven where you play as the uncle that just punches the shit out of all these monsters 
That's all. And you have you just you beat the shit out of swamp monsters. That's pretty much it. And <laughs> it's like my favorite thing. I'm like, what? Where did this come from? Why is this? Why did they make something specifically for me? I don't. Right. Was it? <laughs> Have, was I a good boy this year? I don't. I don't remember. Okay, cool. All right, that was a very, very respectable top three there, Trevor. I, 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 I will have to say you, you pass. Thanks, um, man. Let's see. Did we get any entries for the giveaway? We did not, unfortunately. But you know what? Kima got one, and that's pretty cool. And I'm sure we'll talk after this and uh, figure out more ways to have people get in your game because i th- i think it's i think it's worth the effort because it's a really fun game oh yeah gordy right there i see it now haha <laughs> but um yeah no i think more people should be playing this game and uh go follow trevor on all his social medias and keep up with the updates of the game yeah thank thanks so much guys for for having me on today i really appreciate it you guys are really fun to talk to and like i said i really really enjoy your content that you're putting out out of gas and and everything else too so keep it going and uh yeah just again thanks so much for having me it was a it was a blast no problem it was a lot of fun honestly I, you know i can't you i don't do? know if, oh matt you do agree okay yeah what yeah no i just what <laughs> <laughs> i had an I, awful time talking about things <laughs> that i enjoy <laughs> I mean that sounds about right. You yeah, you say that like a joke, but no. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm the grumpy one. I know. I get it. It's my archetype. You're playing into it. No, it's but a character. um character. <laughs> it's based on me. It's a it's a parody of me by me. Um <laughs> But yeah, I think that'll do it for a quick look at out of gas. I will probably uh put this on the content complete channel as just like a whole thing so people I'm like, oh, what did uh, Trevor say about this and that? Specifically about this and that, not like the actual questions that were asked, but um, um, what, what? Oh yeah, Spencer usually does this. Trevor, where can people find you and this game at? You can get the game on Steam right now for thirty three percent off. <laughs> um, just type in "out of gas" in the search bar, you'll find it. And um, I'm on Twitter at Out of Gas Game, and I'm on Instagram, same handle. And um, yeah, come find me. I'm hiding. See if you can find me. Quick, quick question: Who do you run the Splatmander and the other creature Twitters to? Oh yeah, good question. No, I do not. You don't? Oh, there is a mystery behind it. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, the hey, plot thickens. You- they are just... coming alive. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, it's all becoming real. But yeah, thirty-three percent off. As Matt posted the link in the the chat, go check it out. It's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, Matt, again, I appreciate you hanging out and talking with us. I I needed somebody to help keep the conversation going as I was trying to crunch numbers and figure out where to stab monsters at. So I appreciate you mm-hmm. as always. Even though I think no I give you problemo. the most amount of shit. Cheers for the stream. It was a fun watch. Best of luck to all your developer endeavors, Trevor. Yes, thank uh, you, Crimson. Yes, Thanks thank for you, joining, Cr- buddy. Exactly what he said. I thank you for showing up. Thank you for talking. I appreciate you participating. And um, we will see you all some other time. Y'all have a good evening. Stay safe. Uh, don't do drugs, or I guess do them if they're free.